welcome to another episode of Pep Talk on the Joe Maxwell Show. I'm your host, Joe Maxwell. Today we are recording our Christmas special. And I say Christmas special for so many reasons. You often see beautiful decorations all over the place. But the most interesting and juicy part of today is that we have men on set. And I call it the blast off between the men and the women. Quite important personalities are called an OAP, on air personalities here today. To my left is DJ Abbas. You all know who DJ Abbas is. The one and only DJ Abbas. I need not to say more. But if you don't know DJ Abbas, you need to go, go and check. <laughs> I've got Tony Badejoko, who is a TV presenter on Ben TV. Hi, Tony. Hey, Thank hello. You for DJ Abbas. Thank you. And to my right is Steve Asage, a talent uh, manager and a digital consultant, isn't it? Perfect. Thanks so much for joining us today. I've got Eliane Christopher Suarez, who's a project manager and CEO of Ecoco Foods Limited. And I know, I remember vaguely that you were one of the participants on Contact with me many Absolutely. years ago. Absolutely, yep. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us today. You're Thanks for having welcome. us. Welcome. I feel like I have some... Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Right, guys, so today, the topic today, before we actually go into the topic today, I want us to kind of dial back to some of the topics that we've discussed in the previous episodes. And I think some of the feedback we've had is, um, oh, we'd like to know what the men think about some of these topics. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to dial us back quickly before we kind of go into today's topic. And one of them is, um, should a woman downplay her success to keep the man? Uh, um... When the man's answer first. I think that would be better. Let me say this about I'll pass on to you, Steve. Um, I don't believe that should be the case um, because a, a man, if you're a man and you know what your value is, mm -hmm. who your woman is or how her success, if anything else, you should prompt her up and you should mm -hmm. be happy that she's that successful because she's, she's with you. She's mm -hmm. not underneath you, but she's right next to you. So men that try to, or that want their wife to play, downplay their successes, you're insecure about who you are That's or true. what value you bring to your household. That's the reason why you do that. Okay, so if you were to be dating, for example, and I'm just going to switch over to you, um, did you have asked? For men that are dating, so you're dating and you meet a girl and she's got everything, she drives an S car and you're probably catching the dude. Mm -hmm. um, how, you know, do you feel like a, man, a woman who's single and trying to find a man should kind of turn it down a little bit um, just to get that man? Well, I think all of us are products of our environment and the way somebody who grew up in a certain environment, perhaps in say, Africa, might be different from the way people over here see it. If you were to live in a male-dominated society, that could be a challenge for the man because of the perception of the public. Absolutely. If you live in an environment where um, it's not necessarily gender-specific in terms of success, then it may not be an issue. It's just like going out, some people say that we're doing Dutch, you know, which is 50-50. Yeah. When you try that in Nigeria, yeah. then you see, you know, we ain't doing no Nigeria, Dutch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then, then, then you're not ready to carry my load. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so there's no yes or no answer to it. It's usually individual at, at the very, very, at the end of the day. There are many instances where women are dating men who don't earn as much. It's not a problem for them. But then the day she meets, the day she decides to introduce him to the family, so what does he do? Yeah. Work out the figure. So the, 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 the dynamics no, you, vary. But, but you know what, DJ, but there's, there's this bit of, oh, you're still single because you, you know, you, you earn so much, you do so well, you live in a big house, you drive the best car. Mm -hmm. And that's why you're still single. People still get that comment. But well, that's because then that woman is not well done yet. If you've attained success in your chosen endeavor, that means you can attain success in everything. I would have so to agree with just that. Just waiting yeah. for the right. For the, marriage or the, the, the quest to meet your life partner is a marathon. Most of the time, society puts a timeline on it for us. True. Yes, yes. true. But yes. really, you could not everybody will marry. Yeah. That's a fact of life. A yeah. lot of people... That push. I just got to find yeah. out. Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah nobody's going so marry. Yeah. People yeah. That end up pushing themselves into... Some people are not even cut out. Marriage is... It's true. Marriage in itself is a job. It's mm. not you know, to hurt it. No. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not just cut out for it. Mm. It's just a fact of life. Yeah. You know, and usually the signs are always there if you mm. listen to yourself. Yeah. So true. the marriage thing is just an African it religion. Is. So, so you've got to agree that a woman shouldn't downplay her success. Can I just buttress what DJ's boss just said? So just to buttress what you just said. In as much as I believe that a woman should not play downplay her success, I think marriage is a complete different um, environment. When you're married, you have to be very careful. There's a thin line between downplaying or putting something in a man's face 
and then it seems as though you think you have arrived and then you make your man feel below you. Yeah. You need to be very, very careful. In the in, in marriage, this has to be this, as my, 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 my sister calls it, an attitude adjustment. You have to be able to adjust your attitude such that the man doesn't feel below you or beneath you. The man feels, you, you might earn more than me. You might be seen as maybe an OAP and you, you're out there. But when you get home, you are my wife. Yeah. And you have to have, take your place as a wife. So, I mean, we need to be careful and we need to, women need to know that. So that's, you know, it's, it's interesting that you said that because I think then that kind of goes into a whole lot of Absolutely, yeah, exactly. The topic today, we're going to go into all of ah, this. Mm. You're a wife. I was you beginning to enjoy that topic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like who defines, you know, who really defines what a woman, we'll come yeah. to that when we're talking about, mm. you know, when we get into the topic for today. Quickly before we move on to today's topic, I think I've got another one that we need to kind of rain check on and that is um, the, the, kind of along the line of the woman breadwinner. So do you believe that men are, women are better money managers or men are better money managers? What are your, what are your thinking on that? Uh, but I mean, it's, I think that answer is similar to what you have said. It's based on your environment mm. or who it is or who that individual is. Mm. You know, if you live in a household and the man is the better money manager, then let him handle the finances. If the mm. woman is, yeah, I don't think you, yeah, it's you can't say it's not a straight cut. It's, is no, it? it's not. Well, so you know, like in the previous episode, I did, I had, I did a bit of report, and mm. an article did say that based on statistics, obviously he's got a microfinancing company. Based on statistics, they found that that when a man, if you put hundred men and hundred women to borrow money, mm. the the hundred women would come back to repay the money, and they actually did business with that money. Yeah, right. Okay. But men, they take the money. The person they buy is a car. The first thing they do is the flashy stuff. They want to know that they are the big boy they've arrived. Mm. So when it's time for repayment, majority of them actually can't repay. And, what age and is most that? of them haven't started yeah. the business. And this is just across all, all ages. And I think I think we also need to most of the time when I when we have these debates, I always try to also zone in on the communities you're looking at. Mm. You know. Um, we are Africans and at times we have certain mindsets that we work with mm. and if you were to check out Caucasians it could be a bit slightly different mm -hmm. there are certain things we hold there now when people say women I won't say just women I would say mothers mm. mothers they are the greatest managers in, in life yes they have to be and I'll use my home <laughs> as an example mm. trust me if I was to put aside every penny that has passed through this hand mm -hmm. I'd be a millionaire. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it took me getting to a certain age in my life mm. to realize that, really, my dad should be handling all these things. Mm. You know, it took a while because also I married when I was relatively young. I was 26. I'm 49 wow. now. So for a good, say the first half of my married life, really, I didn't know what Everything I was doing. Yeah. But then, and then you look back and you think, we mothers are natural Not managers. Right. Yes. There is no debate there. There's no argument there. Mm -hmm. Now, will I say the same for single women? Perhaps not. Mm -hmm. You know? Because priorities are different. Yeah, priorities are different. But so I, I, I won't just say women, mothers, first and mm -hmm. foremost. I put that, and, and the facts are there for us. So. Another thing to say is that, you know, sometimes in terms of, um, you know, we're talking about in terms of marriage, you know, are women but, um, better money managers? Sometimes in marriage, I think it's more like, we should not really look at it as a competition. I think everybody has something to bring to the table you know, to bring you yeah. know just check your strength so what i do in everything even in my home who does it better mm -hmm. in this particular mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. so I, I might be a mom but i might not even be the best money manager for example mm -hmm. naturally women we are naturals mm -hmm. because we have responsibilities we know we have to think cook, about the children you know? so that comes with us but sometimes some women don't have that um vision of oh okay i think this is time for me to tell my husband we should get mm. a property mm -hmm. oh i think we should get this land i think oh you should resign at this time let's start a business it's not everybody that industrious mm -hmm. it's not everybody that has this entre um, entrepreneurship skills mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. 10, 10 pounds to 10 yes pounds. Mm -hmm. exactly so some yeah. men actually might be able to they might not be money managers but they might not have that I said, oh, okay, what should we use this money for? And on the other hand, you find out in some homes, there's a man that isn't like, you know what? Let's get this. Let's get that. Yeah. Let, so it's who does it better, basically? Yeah. Who does yeah. it better? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. It's just sometimes you kind of go with statistics. And you kind Ashe, of Ashe, 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 Ashe
We don't do that in the United we Kingdom. We don't do a shit. Yeah. Yeah. They do here. Uh, no, they do. I don't know them. <laughs> Again, I think going back to what the Jabbat said, you don't know them. Sometimes some of these things is based on your self environment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. true. Yeah. So of course, for some people, Ashebi is like standard. The norm. Yeah. 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 Y
we are adopted and adapt okay. to mm. here. Different mindset. But then we still have family over there. Mm. And some, it could be your parents, it could be your siblings. Mm. The perception is mm. now you are doing different. well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You are Regardless of how you read it, you are earning they pounds. The yeah. only currency with surname, yeah. pounds sterling. <laughs> you are earning a lot of money. You are supposed to have more. To, to be doing this yes. for yes. us. Yes. Sure. That is the sense of entitlement. entitlement. And when you fall short of that, yeah. then you are not doing what you're so meant to is be doing. It, so, okay, I know it's a sense of entitlement, yes. but again, it's unrealistic. unrealistic. It can't really separate um, yeah. them. Do you that realize that? That is unrealistic really expectation. So, so, I, I, think, I think, okay, so, I don't actually think it's wrong to have unrealistic expectations. You don't think right? it's wrong? I, but, again, hold on. <laughs> I don't, think, I think, I think, don't kill me. We're about to go into it. So unrealistic expectation is something that we set for ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So one thing to you might be I may say I want to fly, like you know, fly, fly away, whatever, with wings. I don't have wings, but I may see myself flying. Mm. To you, it might be unrealistic, right? Yeah. But to me, actually it's attainable. I mean, I don't know how that's attainable, but I think the question is, who defines what's unrealistic? The situation. The situation defines it. I've got two sons. And in my head, the older one should be so at a certain stage right now. And if he's not at the stage I think he should be at, then... He's failed in your he eyes. He has failed. Mm. But that could be unrealistic expectation on my mm. end. Mm. Because my footsteps were different at his age from his. Mm. The period is different. Yeah. And what I should be doing is helping him in his... Because mm. at times at, at 22, 23, yeah. I think back. I didn't, know what, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah. I was lost. I would, I'm going to come to mentoring as well. Because yeah. at times, in terms of the children, mentoring is important. Yeah. But if he's not doing what I think he should be doing at this certain age... Mm. Then you, you kind then, of feel like... He's but then that you know. could wholly be my fault mm. because my realist my expectations are very unrealistic. So there are two things now. He said the situation and also maybe the timing too. Yeah. Do you understand? So because you're thinking, oh, even let's take you back home in terms of marriage now, you know, in their head, they feel that once you finish your NYC uni... In fact, you don't even have to get you don't, you don't even have to get a job. Mm -hmm. Like but initially, you, you you have to, but now it's like you're finishing, and it's like everybody's thinking how far. So I know husband is prayer point already. Yeah, exactly. Even without <laughs> looking for, they're already praying for you. Mm -hmm. So that to me is very unrealistic. But they feel because of that timing, they feel okay. How old are you? You you should be married. Be married. Okay, yeah. then you get married. Luckily, you're lucky. You're 25. You get married. And you don't have a baby. And that you can't control. In their head, they're thinking, ah, ah, two years of marriage. It should, there should be a bit. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. There's just so many. So when do you draw the line? So another question I'm going to ask you, Steve, is um, regarding a couple, a married couple who were hardworking couple, who both work. Work, the both work, is it the man's entitlement to get his wife to do the... You know what we all know the african wifely duty you cook when you get back from work or, or would it be uh, the man's unrealistic expectation to expect that you've been to work back home and then came in and then say it's jam tonight i mean it's um i mean that's a difficult one because um every every household is different so it's based on the communication or the conversation they've had mm -hmm. first of all before you married your husband or before you married your wife you knew what that person was like but obviously the dynamics people pretend now it's exactly. not long, yeah, you, but and people evolve people but, evolve. but, but the, but the dynamics evolve. of your relationship change change as you have kids as you start yeah. to do different yeah. things and that's why that constant communication is always key mm. so if you as a husband and you think okay before you guys got married, your wife was always cooking for you every other day, mm -hmm. bringing food for you every other weekend when you are living <laughs> by yourself. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, we you're now we you're all did that. Yeah, yeah. But you're not married. <laughs> that kind of stops. Yeah. Initially, your husband might understand. Okay, no, we're both working and we're still in that whole phase. After a while, I think, well, we're both working now. But really, mm -hmm. if other people come into the house and see me cooking, or see me cooking, or there's no food, that might become an issue. Mm -hmm. But does he communicate that to his wife, or does he just sit back so and I become think, the some, some of you men, you're too rigid sometimes. Even when the dynamics changes, you still expect from the diamond. No, no, but did you exactly. go, But you as a wife, you have that conversation where you think, okay, that. wait, hold on a second. Do you have that conversation and say, listen, 
babes, I know this is what you expect of me. But the best of what we're working, can we have an when arrangement? A man, when a man is too rigid, rigid. Ways. No, no, but that's where the communication comes. But if you know your husband, mm -hmm. you should know who you're with. But also, there's also a little bit of give, give and take, give and take. Give and take. in itself. You know what I mean? So, can you say, you know what, let me cook stuff for the whole week. I do it on Sunday, I spend all day Sunday, and after a while, everything also happens in phases, mm -hmm. in itself. That's why, at times, some people just unplug something they used to do, like now we're married, and you still expect the same thing. Okay, let's let's change things a little bit now. Is it true that human beings would expect as much as they want, so long as there's someone out there willing to give yes. it to them? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's natural. I think that's a natural. Yeah. It's natural. Yeah. Our needs are endless. Yes. We we'll always need we want or want more something. And yeah. more and more. Even Until you just, I think, and we need human beings to, to let us know when to stop. Well, so I, it's. You said a point there because my expectation is my expectation. That doesn't mean it's unrealistic. Egg. To me, it's what I think it is. Mm. You might think it's unrealistic. It's individual. Based on your it's individual. Own so there are two things need. now. I think. Um, I say this a lot and people, okay, initially when I was growing up and maybe when I used to have conversation like with my mom and my aunt, you know, and they would say some things and they're like, oh, it's an upbringing and I was like, what's mommy say, what's upbringing? I didn't know how upbringing and orientation, yeah, yeah, I didn't know how big it was until you find yourself in a different environment. Yep. Then you can now tell that you are actually different from the next person, maybe because I was still in my comfort zone of my home, mm -hmm. I'm not, um, I was upbringing. My mom said, upbringing, you know, any little thing, they really trace it, it back to the That's home. what forms you. Yeah. Exactly. That's so, what, yeah. so talking about what is unrealistic to me or to you has to do with my orientation. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Your experience. Exactly. And so that's he, what shapes you. Because when you look at unrealistic expectation, it shapes you, your life, your emotions, <laughs> physically, the whole thing. And your it mind. Shapes you. It shapes and who you yes. are. I think it's and it, your entire and mind. Exactly. It, and it, yes. And that you know links back to entitlement. Yeah. And it would actually make you one on one side you create a burden. Mm -hmm. You put no, you you put pressure on yourself because yeah. you're trying to meet somebody's expectations, which are yeah. not realistic. Yeah. And on the flip side, you also you are a burden onto somebody else because mm. you, you expected something of them yeah. that could be unrealistic. Exactly. So I think it's it's a mindset change. Exactly. I mean, I'm sat here and I'm thinking about a few things. Mm -hmm. I mean, even parents to children, yeah. spouses, siblings, a lot of things that we expect. From but the, who in the, the first person. place who who set those expectations? Who set those expectations? Exactly. Oh. Question and who sets it? That is so let's, orientation. Let's, let's let's move it. Let's let's play a little mm -hmm. bit. Let's go back ten years. Roll back ten years ago. Mm. Dating, right? <laughs> dating. And For I'm some sure of us, they fight a bit. For the last thirty years ago, fifty oh, decades. Like, we don't know what happens to you now. I don't know how you people do it now. Things <laughs> <laughs> don't change. Okay, let's <laughs> let's dial back like. 20 something years for the year, back mm. from 10, 15, 20 years. Why are you trying to trim off? Five years, five years, <laughs> five years. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> right. Or maybe we can still stay in now. Mm -hmm. Now, dating. So I've been saying lots of, you were talking about going Dutch the other time. Yeah. Now, and you didn't seem to like it. I mean, I'm an African <laughs> woman. Women like it. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We go on a date. One, two, three. Boy, I still expect you to pick the check up. Why is that though? Why Don't is that? expect me to. I mean, why not? You are asking me out. I, I want to feel okay, like no, you no, want to. Why not though? Yeah, like, I know the man responds to that. Okay, you know what? Yeah. This, this is actually not a problem. Is it interesting now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when it comes to the woman, there's something that she expects. So for, for the man to do. Oh, no, 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 you're you asking me out. I'm proving that he's the man. <laughs> but when he now expects as the man, you need to serve me. Mm. Or what the woman will say, but why do I have to serve you? Yeah, but you know, some... hold on. Your expectation. Is unrealistic to me. How is but, unrealistic? No, no. You're asking me out. No, no, I know, but you you're saying. Just no, eat in Wagamama. Which you're expecting to pay three times, right? Uh -huh. But he expects you to cook every other minute. No, that's oh. is a different, is a different no, no. kettle of fish. No, no, no. Why is it? No, why is it? Why is it? Why is it? Why is it? That is double standard. It's not yeah. double standard. It is. It is. I tell okay, you well, what, well, I'm well, actually quite shocked that <laughs> you expect a woman to pay. I tell you why. Because who sets expectation? We are in. We live in a diaspora. But the way we were taught back home, I didn't think a woman would pay for a date. Absolutely. Okay. That's the way we were okay. wired. Yeah. Uh, we were wired yeah. uh, we for a man. Uh, <laughs> That's the way we were taught. No, no, but the mothers... Right or wrong? Yeah, no. Ouch. 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 Yeah. Ouch. Come on. Guys, come on. Guys, come on. Guys, come on. No. Come but on. the mothers never went to work. Some of them. No, no, no. Some of them. No, some of them. No, some of them. No, no, no. They're not in the village. Yeah. 
men you're talking about. <laughs> That's a disclaimer. No, no, no. First of all, because that, that thing, that whatever, you, the, the bride price is a symbol. I don't think, I disagree, Steve. I disagree. It's, it's all down to, we're back to your scenarios. There are mm -hmm. cultures in Africa, in Nigeria, okay. where the bride price is, is more than a symbol. Yes. It's almost literally the Eastern you're like people. buying yes. your yeah. wife. Yes. Now, yeah, the Eastern. Not well, Yoruba. Yoruba is yeah. no. Yoruba. A symbolic bride price is okay. Um, yam, mm. uh, five tubers of yam. Sugar. Once, Fifty is um, it. But whatever, you know, it is that is symbolic. Yeah. If I need to build you a house. That's no longer symbolic. That's it. Oh, yeah. I am buying you. So who's who's expecting? No, no, no. 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 Is this act <laughs> that drives the expectation? Okay. Yeah. Is this act that? Sure. And in some of these cultures, when you divorce, it's incumbent mm -hmm. on the and groom's family to return, to return them. Those them. So okay, but who? That, True. You say the groom's family, not the groom. No, 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 no. 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 But, it's, but, it's but you are part of a family. family. It's family is a family. We're not going That's to two different things. No. No, 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 there's an external, there's an internal. No, 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 no. In, In Africa, itself. it is families that marry. Yeah. Mm. So when, when, think back to your engagement. It's, it's the family it's traditional of, wedding. Yeah. So the family, family of, of, yes. And if you look at the recent divorces from, from some of the, we mentioned names of some of Hollywood stars, when they were divorcing, the, it was the families that actually did the final split mm. and they would return. And that's how it works. And does this situation create the question now is does this situation create a sense of entitlement, entitlement. in some cultures it, it can yes yes it can it does no it's it, just, it can it's just it's it's yeah. that is it it's cultural but yeah. That, yeah. that that is why it's so key for the two individuals that are in that relationship in that marriage for life they really understand and they communicate and if for me and my missus the way we conversate you can't come and tell it you can't come and tell us anything with how because I know how to do with my parents. She knows how to do with her parents. Be like, my mom comes, I want to say back, mom, 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 leave I beg, leave my missus alone. That is how we do us. Yeah, but, but the, then no, but see, this is passing on even to the husband having that mentality. Yes. The husband's the, the family marry, mm. right? But the husband also Feels, yeah. 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 Yeah.
poor kids, for example, would you still expect me to work? Would you still expect this and this of me? Well, you wouldn't have such conversation no, at any No, but you need to. That's what, that's what I'm saying. You, you have, have an inkling as to the, you, the, the thought you pattern of that person. You already have but an not inkling. Exactly. Yeah. So, you don't so, need to work. Not fool you it. as a woman, you either choose to ignore it or you choose to exploit a lot more, but the choice is up to you. But you, but you know that, hmm, let me... Discover because you, you women, they say you But you wouldn't walk relationship. away from a good relationship Nobody because of that. Should. Nobody See, say you should. You won't. Nobody I say married at the age of 26. Uh. If I think back to myself now, then I would not marry me. Exactly. No. <laughs> That's what I'm I saying. You, you won't walk away from that. The curve. Yeah. You man, and you can today now. Exactly. Eh, already. <laughs> <laughs> time, these things evolve. Yeah. I've seen women evolve. that in on the clubs, you know, what are the um stereotypes we put in our community on women who are bad? Mm. Rocking or this club. 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 I've seen women bad. that were rocking hard, that were doing all those things who are wonderful moms Mothers today. today. Yeah. Great people. Some of this is timing evolve over yeah. time. Yeah. So yeah. these are not conversations you see that oh yeah, I'm more well, well, you, know, <laughs> you already know, you already in it. Yeah. So not definitely conversation, but you if you but most of the time. We don't have enough of those conversations. There's no, way, there's no way you can. I so, see where Steve is coming. I see where you're coming from. Coming from. Well, now you, you have a sense of who you marry. You yeah. think whether you marry the traditionalist. Or not. So, to an extent, you so can you, say that my husband will probably take my side. You might have, you might think so. Mm. But when things happen, mm -hmm. you'll be surprised. That's when you know then exactly you what you're doing. Exactly. Shocked, like, oh, I never exactly. Knew that. No. It's so, possible, okay, it's guys. True. I, I, I definitely know Come that we can, this conversation is one that we can talk. <laughs> Twenty seconds. On yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, situation of a man who lived here, everything was kosher, and then he goes to Nigeria for the first time in a long time, as a for somebody mixed with his friends. And then he came back and told the wife that I don't, I don't want you to start. Don't call me by name. So what do I, what do I call you? Anything? No. I mean, daddy, you are. Oh. Oh, that's <laughs> as Nollywood as it sounds, it happens. Yeah, it does. Mm. True. People change. Yeah, Every relationship sure. has like a five-year evolving period. Yeah, and true. It keeps children. Yeah. Up, it changes. And it changes. You know yeah. And I, I, I like the angle you brought it because that just brings me to the final question <coughs> for on today's um, topic, which is the impact of so, uh, social media. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, Do we really want to talk about that? Oh, let's quickly just oh, let's let me let me start. let's unravel it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Turn me over to okay. You. Um, quickly. Social media is good, obviously, for the right reasons. You know, you raised something online one day, and I wrote something about it. That it depends on what you do on social media. I feel nobody's in a position to tell anybody what to do, mm. but I still feel that everything should be done in moderation. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about your private life, personally, I don't really like putting my private life. Out, lights out there, mm. right? You know, some people don't even have married, some people don't even have kids. I just want my private like private. to be private because there's a saying, I'm sure DJ Abbas will know that saying, in, where, um, from where we come from, like, it's what you hide that has more value. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Yes. Or, you know, <laughs> Lonely, you know, not, 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 not in a bad way, but sometimes mm -hmm. a little bit of you know, especially Privacy. when it comes to marriage. And we can we can see all this Nollywood, all the celebrity marriages crashing. Mm -hmm. And even when you hear interviews of some of them talking and they're like, oh, I thought I should have posted the picture. I don't want people. Like, all of them are just living their life for this people. Mm -hmm. And don't forget that these so-called people that you, you think they are the looking at you ones, have yeah. the same issues. Yeah. You know, well, but it's how you, you put it out. I really like the angle you put that up. Who do I cross? Because I'm not sure we can go around on that one. Who wants, who wants to say something to this? Zerat, I was to say. Social media. I think social media is the greatest thing that's ever happened to us. Definitely. It has opened, it has broadened the boundaries of, con of conversations. And like anything else, it's also subject to abuse. But I think um, today, we are now having more... If you think of all the major topical issues today that we as Africans are having, mm -hmm. it's all due to the access to social media. Yes. And nothing is new. What social media has done it's is just put out. light on, on it. Yeah. All these things have been I've happening. Been happening. Mm -hmm. Nothing is new. But with the advent of social media, it's like going into, the, into a market as well. You pick what you want. Yeah. I'm on social media. I put up, you know, thought-provoking issues every day. I look on other people's pages. I look for things to pick. Mm -hmm. And some people just go on social, social media <laughs> to look for, you know. I know if you were to get on social media today, and you strip naked and you sit there and just start saying nonsense, you will have an audience. Yes. Yeah. There will be people there that watch you and loud you up and wait for your next broadcast. Yeah. yeah. So, 
<laughs> so it's all it's down to how you use social media. media. Yes. Exactly. There are social media millionaires today. Yes. Yes. There are social media impactors. Exactly. There are social media, you know, people. Diff- it's all down to what you want to put out, out there. on exactly. social well, media. It's, I, don't, I think it's more, uh, yes, a bit of that, and also what you want to get out, out of from it. Media, yeah, exactly. Because yeah. you can look at somebody, or you can look at a friend of a friend who is successful, who you know every day they just look, they look. They seem together, mm. but you don't know no, the story. Exactly. But because they make it seem like, oh, they you know, take a picture from yeah. a RAV4 today, mm. from a Range Rover tomorrow, mm. you think, oh, I'm going to And a lot of women do that. Yeah. I think if I'm mostly, to be honest, I think women do the old boo-boo, Things I'm, a lot. I'm very worried about the next generation. I, I, I am. You yes. know, no. there's this <laughs> trying to create one impression. Impression that is not guys. very you false. Know, they call it pepper them in garden. <laughs> <laughs> I do pepper them in garden. Hashtag too. pepper them. We're worried about our generation. Yeah. And we're worried. Every generation worries about, about the next. Right click. Mm. I, 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 and they'll find their level I at some point. I think it's because the social media, the di- digital age is just it's so crazy. Yeah. In your face. And I really worry for our kids. I do. I don't even know where to give my child a phone. <laughs> yes. Do I go and get a 3310? Yeah, well, I know. Him, he, he would feel like, you know, the odd one out of his pen. Yes. Yeah. We're not going to delve into mm. that conversation of digital or social oh, media. Yeah. This is, you know, unrealistic expectation and types for men. I think it's something that we can talk about forever. Mm. And one thing that I know, and I think a lot of us as well, all of us with Echo here is when you set yourself on realistic expectation, it's almost like you're attracting sadness and happiness to yourself. Mm-hmm. Remember, no one owes you anything. anything. Definitely. Yeah. No one owes Definitely. you absolutely And you owe nothing. nobody Lit. And you owe anything. nobody anything. We all have some sense of entitlement within ourselves, and there's nothing wrong in that. Just make sure that your sense of entitlement is not an unrealistic expectation. And that's it for us on today's segment. But before we go, there's one thing that we like to do, and that's find out what our guests at peace are. And we'll be doing that right away. So right to you. Did you hear that? Pet peeves, pet peeves, mm. that one thing you don't like. Um, Did, I don't like complicated people. <laughs> I'd have to echo that. You know, mm. I like... Simple. Life is, life is so easy. Yeah. But then, you know, in my world, one plus one is two. Mm. The moment one plus one is too much. start to have... <laughs> but some people, by nature, that's the way they are called. And I just, I'm not comfortable with uncomplicated people. That's my number one. Complicated people. Uncomplicated. Uh, complicated, complicated people. people. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Don't like it. Wow. Okay, thanks so much. Thank so at least, at least I know when I know people that are a little bit. You are not complicated. <laughs> yeah. When I know people that are, if I know people that are a bit complicated, yeah. I make sure. I am. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> Over to you, Toby. Hmm. Deep. Okay. Because DJ Bass has mentioned that. It was a bit of that too, but maybe not really complicated people. I just don't like people that are not straight. You know, I just like, I just like, this is me, you know, you're white, you're yellow, let me know you're yellow, Mm -hmm. you know, you're not, let's, okay, I'm talking to you, this is what we're doing, I don't want you to say something else later on, like, I just want you to be straight, I just like people that are very easy, Mm -hmm. yeah, I can really predict, I don't like people I can't predict, do you understand, like, this is Joe and this is Joe, Mm -hmm. this is white and this is white, I don't want you to be black, another thing is that, on a more lighter note, I hate lousy eaters, like, I don't like when I'm somewhere <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I can have ghost pimples. Who does that? Who does that? I hate it. I hate it so much. And I was growing up. Even my sister was, you know, and she learned and she was like, How thank you. She, she learned from that. And now I'm like, she's teaching her kids. And my kids too, yes. I'm like, no, no, you don't. You don't close eat, your mouth close when you eat. Close your mouth when you eat. I don't like lousy yeah. eaters. Thank you so much, Tony. Over to you, Kenny. Right, I'm going to have to echo DJ Sam. Well, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Because I told you, you laid the pack up. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This one. Okay. I don't like complicated people. Mm-hmm. I don't like overly sensitive people because mm-hmm. I am so not sensitive. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't pick up things easily. Mm-hmm. And especially people that are borderline paranoid. Because mm-hmm. when you're overly sensitive, mm-hmm. everything gets to you. You think they're talking about mm-hmm. you. Think, mm-hmm. What some, someone hasn't thought about, you've mm-hmm. thought about it. That <laughs> you're probably thinking that. And you create this assumption around nothing mm. and you just make it all com- convoluted mm. so just like you yeah. thank you very stay much. away from me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, yeah. um actually i don't like rude people mm. um i'm i'm the people that know me i'm the more you know see always smiling always easy going and more pleasant i i dislike people that are extremely rude mm. men and women mm. if i say hello to you in the morning at least mm. okay maybe this is my own realistic expectation <laughs> <laughs> 
So at least be <laughs> pleasant and say, yeah. you know, but it's one thing you not hearing me, it's a different thing you ignoring me. I'm like, mm. so you feel entitled like to someone it's not to say, it's just, it's just, it's an energy. Yeah. It's, actually, it's negative. No, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So for you being unpleasant, mm. that means you have a negative energy. Mm. I, I hate, mm. I hate negative energy because it's contagious. Mm. It is. Please stay away from me if you have negative energy. Yeah. I try to always give positive energy yeah. out. In so if you're rude, I then like, I just put you in a box and, and like, and like yeah, I'll, I'll try to. But if you're like, you know what? Okay, no problem. Stay away. Mm. Just, just stay there. Good stay vibes there. only. Oh, that's right. Right, guys. <laughs> right, yes. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us today. It's been, it's been, it's been awesome. I think. Thanks for having. I don't even think we dealt this topic well. No, we, we didn't. We, 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 we need a live show for people to also engage. And that's it for us, guys, on today's episode. If at all you think or feel that we haven't tackled some things, please feel free to join this conversation by leaving a comment below. If you'd like to say more or you know, you've got more topics that you want us to delve or you want us to discuss, drop us an email at info at joemaxwellshow.com. Until next time, have a wonderful and merry Christmas. I am Helen.